Cyberworld? It's me, Razor of Razor Team. Kung bago lang kayo sa aking YouTube channel, i-click lamang ang like button kung nagustuhan ninyo ang content ng video na ito. At huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe para magkaroon kayo ng latest uploaded video sa channel na ito na pwedeng makatulong sa inyo para maintindihan ang mga bagay-bagay sa cyber. Sa video na inyong mapapanood dito, ipapaliwanag ko kung ano ang tinatawag na URL. If madaming katanungan regarding URL, mas maiging i-message nyo ko directly through messenger or comment your names below and i-add kita sa aming group chat. So, URL, also known as web address, ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo kung ano nga ba ang tinatawag na Uniform Resource Locator. Una, na-design ang URL para palitan ang numerical IP address ng isang web server na kayang i-memorize o basahin ng tao at hindi IP address which is consisting of numbers which is later on i-discuss ko ang DNS or domain name servers kung tawagin. Pangalawa, a URL consists of a protocol, domain name, subdomain, top level domain name, fat or file, query, HTML anchors, parameters, and fragments. So, ano nga ba ang mga ito? URL protocol, ito yung sumusukat sa data or information kung paano naipapasa ang data sa pagitan ng host at isang web browser or client kung tawagin. Meron two common protocols na inyong nahahanap tuwing kayo ay nagre-research. Ito yung HTTP and HTTPS secured. Uh, bukod pa dyan, merong FTP, stands for File Transfer Protocol, uh, DNS, tulad nga itong pinag-usapan natin ngayon, uh, DHCP, IMAP, SMTP, uh, stands for uh, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, at maray pang iba. Domain name, ito yung pangalan ng website na kung saan matatandaan ng tao and, and like I said, instead of IP address, it was written and can memorize by words sa madaling sabi. Ang domain name is na obtain through registration to a web server or host. Like for example, facebook.com, yung word na Facebook, yun yung domain name. Subdomain Ito yung apixes ng website na kung saan pwede mo itong pangalanan before your domain name uh, Like for example, tools.razorteam.cc So basically, yung tools sa tools.razorteam.cc Dito mo makahanap yung content ng domain name na kung saan nakasaad ang mga tools Well, subdirectories for SEO is another way of organizing your website kung ikaw man ang web developer nito. Now, about top level domain name, ito yung pinakamataas na level ng domain name system hierarchy kung tawagin. Example ng TLDs ay .com, .net, .org at marami pang iba. So yung facebook.com, yung .com doon, uh, ito yung nagsisilbing top level domain ng nasabing domain. Kung hindi malinaw, pwede nyo siya i-deep research para maunawaan pa ng mas maigi. Fat or file. In modern ages ng mga website these days, many of the website who's ranking up in the SEO They omit the typical index.html para magbukhang professional and simple ang nasabing website. But this path or file, uh, dito mo mahahanap yung individual web content such as slash upload slash image.jpg. It just happened when this path or file containing the uploader um, which is either written in HTML and JavaScript. 
that is often used to upload a shell pag ang hacker gustong i-hack ang particular website through cross-site scripting or server query language injection maski naka HTTPS pa ang nasabing website Alam kong madami pa kayong katanungan on how to do such thing tulad nga ng aking nabanggit kanina kung paano may sasagawa ng mga hacker ang kanilang hacking scheme uh, Meron ba silang permission to do such thing or is it just for vulnerability assessment lang Pwede mong malaman ang intent ng isang hacker pero not the whole Anyway, um, disregard of what I told you the last one minute about hacking into website I am not going to show you here how it is done because it is against for me as I'd like to spread awareness and not to frighten the viewers or bringing terror to the cyber world Kung may may papakita man ako dito sa video na to Yun ay kung paano gamitin ang Google Operators para mapadali ang ating buhay sa pagre-research ng mga valuable content na akala natin imposibleng makuha na kailangan pa ng IDM or such torrent magnet links para lang makapag-download. Para maging kapakipaginabang ang video na ito, I am going to show you people how a hacker do their research. An hacker often use Google operators rather than googling the content they want. It is somehow similar to the normal user, pero yung hacker kasi, um, they point the target or they want the access automatically na dinadadaan sa, sa long process where such web robots containing illegal scripts clickbait kung tawagin. As I demonstrate in the video, how web crawling works then that is when paggagamit ka ng google operators such as indexing and not only that web crawlers are integral to the functioning of search engines are access to the world wide web and also serves as the first and foremost part of web scrapping sa madaling sabi ang web crawlers ito yung first and foremost unang magbibigay ng result sa iyo sa specific content na search mo sa Google. You may search Google Docs para makapag-advance pa kayo because Google Docs containing not only index but a list of docs that is mainly used for malicious intent such as hacking into CCTV footage and such debit cards which will link and guide you to what API is. Well, in my next video, maybe this November, I am going to explain what API is. Sa ngayon, I'm hoping kung sino man ang nanonood sa video na to, gathered such a valuable information na makakatulong sa inyo to go further and understand a single thing. Again, it's me, Razor of Razor Team, ang magpapaintindi sa inyo kung ano ang mundong pinasok ninyo sa Cyber World. Razor is formerly member of the following. Hacker1.com Hackforums.net Rootme.org Cyberary.it www.goforexpert.com Void.2 Leapingcomputer.com GSM Forum TouchArcade.com PH Cyber.com www.phcorner.net OpenPinoy.com MPGH.net ElitePVPers.com And many more